weeks ago um, and it's taken us a while to replace this unfortunately so what we've ended up with now is we replace that bottom piece with a new piece of uh, Eroka I've made some repairs to the Kielsen and in behind there we've replaced the the top doubler as well um, so that's now finished well all but a little bit of work to do on her um, to fix her in uh, she's all done now we're gonna get back to doing the planks we've also started to make a few little repairs to the, the keel where the skeg fits We've been plugging the holes up and we're going to finish uh, with a little bit more epoxy and some fiberglass around that area. So when the skeg goes back up, that, that, that should uh, keep it nice and uh, watertight. Right? That's the finish of what we've been doing. You can see I've Put the two kill bolts back in and also I'm going to put in the post for the rudder. So now that's all done, um, albeit a couple of little jobs to it. We're now ready to crack on with the planking, which I can say I'm pleased about because that's taken a long while to uh, put together that as as you can see two pieces of wood that came out of there the one on the top of the Kilson, the doubler and a small little doubler on the bottom it's in quite a bad way um, and you wouldn't think that would cause you so much trouble, but uh, every time we, we, we did the top part, we clamped it in and we put up the rudder um, and the skeg and we made sure we had the right angle and we put the, the post in and finally we've secured the post and we've secured the skeg uh, above uh, the doubler above the Kielsen. And of course we've now finished the doubler below there. A little bit more trimming to do there. Uh, just a little bit more to trim down on that so that we can uh, match it to the keel a bit more. But I'm going to do that in situ. Uh, and that's ready to go really hopefully. We've just been tidying up today, clearing all everything out and getting ready again for the next uh, change of work. I've got the back backs of the planks still sticking out on, on the side. I've got a couple of planks to sort out here. This has got to be screwed up. I've got to repair that plank and then we've got the uh, the ribs there, the frame uh, to sort out. 